guys welcome back yeah i know i chipped my nail hmm. it hurts so bad anyways moving on as an eye base i'm using mac painterly paint pot and i'm applying it all on my eyelid this helps to show the colors more vibrant but it also holds the eyeshadows together so that it does not budge all day long and to set the eye base i'm using makeup geek creme brulee but you guys can go ahead and use any translucent powder that you have Grabbing these two burnt orange shades from Cryolan, which doesn't have a name, I'm applying it right into my crease to add a little bit of warmth to the look. Here, I'm doing the same thing to my other eye. For my lid, I went with Ardency in Gel Eyeliner in the shade Dark Blue and I'm applying it all over my eyelids. Okay, let me tell you one thing. As much as I love Ardency in Gel Eyeliners, this was really really hard to work i'm telling you guys the struggle was real as you guys can see here i am struggling big time to blend out this color i think this is more appropriate just to apply in the lower water line rather than on the lids so please don't do dumb things like me so here i'm just dragging this product into my crease as well To deepen the crease a little bit more, I went with Motown from Makeup Geek which is a beautiful purple shade with a little bit of blue undertone and I'm applying that just into my crease. As you guys can see, my crease looks really patchy and not blended well and I think it's because of the fact that I used an eyeliner. What to do, what to do. Now moving on to the star of the show which is Center Stage from Makeup Geek. Here I'm wetting my brush with MAC Fix Plus so that it helps to pick a lot more product and once applied it will give a nice metallic finish. So I'm focusing the shade right on my lid and it's such a beautiful beautiful royal blue which matched my outfit perfectly. And then I went in with Motown from Makeup Geek and I'm blending away all the harsh lines that were there. For eyeliner, I went with gel liner in the shade number 77, which is my all-time favorite. And I'm pretty sure you guys would have already guessed by now, because this little fellow comes in all of my videos. So here I'm using little strokes to build up my wing so that I don't get it wrong. Because I'm telling you guys, this gel liner is a big time troublemaker. If you get it wrong, it's going to be very hard to get it off. So that's why I'm using very, very small strokes. And today I decided not to do a dramatic wing because I wanted the colors on my eyes to pop. And to make the eyeliner a little bit more darker, I went with Chanel Liquid Liner on top of it. For mascara, today I went with False Lash Butterfly Waterproof Mascara from L'Oreal. I'm applying good two coats of them. To be honest, I really don't know what to say about this mascara because it's brand new and that day it didn't do anything to my eyelashes to be honest. So I think I have to work on it a few times in order to see what it does. But so far I really don't like it. Uh, so to intensify my lashes more, I went with my favorite MAC Upward Lash Mascara. And again, I applied about two coats of it as well. And then to tightline my upper waterline, I went with Ardency in Gel Liner in the shade Black. Moving on to face base, I started off by applying Illuminator first instead of applying any sort of primer. Yes, yes, I totally forgot to apply primer for this makeup look. But anyways, life goes on, right? So here I'm buffing it all out with a damp beauty blender. And for foundation today, I went with NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Tahoe, which is my favorite at the moment. Such a beautiful foundation. It has a sheer coverage, but yet it gives a very nice natural looking, um, natural looking glow to your skin. And to hide my dark areas around my mouth, 
I'm applying peach luster from MAC and I'm buffing that all out with my wet beauty blender. And then to conceal and cover my um, dark circles under my eyes, I went with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35. I'm applying this weird upside down triangle right under my eyes and blending it away with my beauty blender. I'm telling you, I cannot live without my beauty blender. It's such an amazing tool to do all sorts of stuff. If you guys are in look for a good tool to um, do makeup, buy a beauty blender. It is so, so useful. For contouring and grabbing the middle two shades from Laura Mercier Contour Kit, and I am going to contour my cheekbones, my jawline and my forehead away. This contour kit is so creamy and very easy to blend. However, it does give a little bit of ashy look on me. But I am really, really loving the consistency of this kit. And then here you guys will see me going back and forth with my beauty blender and the brush to buff out uh, any harsh lines that were going on on my face. I feel like the Beauty Blender does a better job than the brush, but it's my personal preference anyways. If you guys are comfortable with your brush, go ahead and do it. But as for me, I love my Beauty Blender and I honestly can't live without it. Because I have already highlighted and concealed my under eyes, I don't want the rest of my face to look totally flat. So for that, I went again with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm applying a little bit on the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, under my chin and a little bit under the contour line and around my mouth as well and I'm blending it away with my beauty blender. To set my highlighted and concealed areas, I am applying Benai Banana Powder. This is such a beautiful yellow toned powder but you you guys can go ahead and set your areas with any translucent powder you have if you don't want to brighten the look more. And then to deepen my contour a little bit more, I went with the darkest shade that was there in the Laura Mercier contour kit and blending it away with my beauty blender. To fill in my eyebrows, I went with Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown and I'm happily filling them away. Trust me, Filling in eyebrows is not a fun part of watch, so I'm just going to skip that away. To bronze up my face, I am using Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and NARS Casino Bronzer. And mixing these two together, I'm bronzing my face up. So I'm bronzing my cheekbones, my forehead and my jawline. I decided to clean my contour line a little bit more because when I was bronzing I thought I felt like the bronzing got a little bit more lower so because of that I am cleaning up my contour so that it looks like that so here I'm cleaning my bon uh, the, the bronze I'm cleaning my contour line with the Ben Nye banana powder and then I went uh, back with makeup gig Motown and I'm applying that shade right under my eye with a pencil brush and blending it away. And then grabbing a flat definer brush, I went with a center stage and I applied it tightly in my lower part of my eye and blending it away with my pencil brush. And then going back with Ardency in gel liner in the shade dark blue, I'm tight lining my lower waterline. I wanted to wear wispy looking lashes for this look, so for that I went with House of Lashes in the shape Temptress Wispy. Not only were these lashes wispy, but they were very long as well. They were beautiful. After letting the powder to sit for a while on my skin, I'm dusting it off and blending it well so that it does not have any harsh lines. And then grabbing my MAC Upward Lash Mascara, I'm applying about good 2-3 to three coats of it to my lower lashes. And while doing it, I made a little boo-boo on my nose. There you go. You guys can see it, right? A black dot on my nose. 
so when something like this happens just let it get dried so that it's easier for you to take it off and then moving on to my eyebrows um, I'm, I wanted to make it a little bit more darker so for that I went with Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is in the shade dark brown and I am filling in my brows to make it a little bit more darker grabbing a spoolie I'm trying to take the dry flake off but during the process I took off a little bit of foundation so for that I went in back with my beauty blender and buffed it out a little bit and for nose contouring I was using the NARS Casino bronzer and I am using my fingers to do that um, and then for blush I went with a peach twist from MAC and I'm applying it onto the apples of my cheek and dragging it up a little bit onto my temples. For highlighter I went with Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in the shade number 1 and here I'm applying it to the tops of my cheeks. I'm using a brush but it is not necessary you can use your finger. I think fingers are the best tools for liquid highlighter. It did look a little bit patchy so for that I went over on top of it with my blush brush and blending it away so there are no harsh lines visible. And then grabbing Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade beige I am putting a little bit on top of my cheeks and a little bit on top of my eyebrows, a little bit on my chin, on my cupid's bow and to the bridge of my nose. And then grabbing Christine Dior eyeshadow in the shade number one, which is a beautiful silvery glittery color. I'm applying it to my brow bone and to my inner corners. And then I'm applying MAC Fix Plus to set my makeup so that it does not budge all day long. And grabbing these beautiful earrings which I got from Eclipse um, from Sri Lanka. I'm just popping those on. And for Bindi, I went with a dark blue shade um, because I wanted the blue to pop out in my outfit more. And then for lipstick, I went with Stila Liquid Lipstick in the shade Venezia, which is a very bright, corally, orange shade. But before applying this liquid lipstick, please make sure that you apply some sort of lip balm because it was so, so dry. This shade was really really bright on my skin but I don't know I really love the way that this look turned out even though this color was not in my outfit I just um, I just wanted to have a surprise so so because of that I just had this crazy idea okay you know what I'll try this color out and it's sort of like blended in together what do you guys think do you guys like it or not please let me know in the comments down below I was in such a rush that day so I'm really sorry guys I couldn't get a video on my outfit however I did get some photos so I will just pop them here now and thank you so much guys for watching this get ready with me and until next time I'll see you guys later bye